In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you the basic working of this rather simple yet Arduino compatible fingerprint sensor. So you can easily include fingerprint security in your projects. So let's see how it works. First of all, where to get the code for the fingerprint sensor? You can download it either directly from GitHub or you can download it from the link in the description. So after downloading the code, unzip the file and paste it in the Arduino libraries. Now open the Arduino software and go to files, then examples, then add a fruit fingerprint sensor and open the enroll sketch. Afterwards, connect the fingerprint sensor to the Arduino, according to the description given in the sketch. The green wire, which is the transmit wire, will connect to the pin number 2 of the Arduino, and the white wire, which is the receive wire, will connect to the pin number 3, and on the remaining red and black wires, we will supply 5V from the Arduino, because this fingerprint sensor only works with 5V. Now connect the Arduino USB cable to the computer and upload that enroll sketch. This sketch is used to enroll your finger or in simple words, it takes the picture of your fingerprint and save it in the sensor. So you can easily use that impression later on. Now after uploading the code, open the serial monitor. If it say found fingerprint sensor, it means you have done everything right. Then it will ask you for a numerical ID. Then it will ask you to place your finger. Then remove your finger. And then place it one more time. So it knows it got the correct finger. Remember, you can only store up to 127 fingerprints in the memory of the sensor. Which is, in my opinion, is a pretty good number. Now, when you are done with enrolling your finger, Open the sketch named Fingerprint again from the Examples folder of the Adafruit Fingerprint Sensor. So after uploading this code in the Arduino, you can see in the Serial Monitor when my finger matches with the fingerprint which is already stored in the sensor, it gives the numerical ID and also the confidence level like how sure it is that it's a match. Now at this stage, we can add a few lines of code in the sketch to light up a LED whenever it found a match. So I declare the pin number 4 as the output and when it found a match, it pulls the pin number 4 high for 1 second and then pulls it low. Now let's upload this code and see how it works. So as you can see that when I place my finger, the sensor checks whether it's a match or not. If it is confident that it's a match, then it turns the LED on for one second and then turns it off. Now you can absolutely go crazy with this sensor and make some awesome electronic projects. Like you can connect a small relay to the sensor and turn on or off your car by using your fingerprint. Or you can attach a solenoid to it and latch or unlatch a door by using your fingerprint. Or you can always change a bit of code and control the servo with your fingerprints by which you can lock or unlock a safe. You see the projects are endless with this sensor. So at least try to make one by yourself. It's really simple. Now at last, please don't leave this video without subscribing to my channel. If you like this video, then you might like some of my others. I have some great electronic projects on my channel. So be sure to check them out. Once again, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you around.